Muhammad Ali has been fighting his whole life. He fought in the ring and became the greatest. He fights Parkinson's disease every day and earns respect and compassion. And now he is battling his toughest opponent yet, hunger among the world's children. And this exclusive look at Ali's greatest crusade is the Entertainment Tonight cover story. He had traveled 15 hours and 8,000 miles to get to this forgotten corner of the world, the Ivory Coast city of Abidjan. But when Muhammad Ali stepped off the plane, there was no sign of weariness or fatigue. The cheering throng that greeted him on his mission of mercy saw to that. E.T. was at his side as he arrived with relief organization Global Village Champions as it brought emergency food and medical supplies to a rural orphanage. I was told there's a problem here. And I'm here to do all I can to help. Ali! Ali! Can you catch 100,000? It was 23 years ago that Ali first came to Africa, winning the hearts of millions who followed his every move as he regained the heavyweight title in devastating fashion from George Foreman. People here have never forgotten him. Nor he, them. Whether it be with the common man or the country's president, Muhammad shrugged off the effects of the Parkinson's disease that has shackled him physically and proved he can still go the distance. I'd like to know who's the best heavyweight fighter in this country. And before I leave, I'll go two rounds with him. But the depth of his impact was no more keenly felt than by the thousands who lined the road to catch a glimpse of Ali as he traveled by bus to the ramshackle town of San Pedro. It was there he had come to bring much-needed food and medicine to a children's orphanage run by American nun, Sister Beltran. He always was the greatest. I think he's super, super. Ali, you know French? You can speak French? Woo! <laughs> you better than me. The sister had urgently written Ali in hopes of securing some aid for her children, most of whom are disabled. On the day he arrived, they were literally down to their last two days of food. Rachel, say hi to Mohammed. Say hello. I told my children that. I said, here's a man who's a living example to you. He has his own handicap. He's not thinking about his handicap. He's thinking about you. And he's sharing what he has, the riches that God has given him with you. By providing food and medicine for the next six months, Ali's visit here made a real difference. That, says Ali's Global Village partner, Yank Berry, is what the champ now lives for. Muhammad believes that every time he signs an autograph, every time he kisses a child, every time he feeds someone, it's going to help him go to heaven. There are angels with fun on the actions. And God, God's not going to judge him. You know, I'm not going to judge him. Look. And while his voice may be hushed and his movement slowed, all one need do is look in the eyes of this champion to know that he has found heaven already.